Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name's Ken. Today's experiment is a square bubble maker. Please subscribe and like as it does help my channel. So I bought the Build the Bubble 3D Bubble Kit. It comes with 57 different pieces and I have a link in the description where you could get them. Um, you could also make it on your own. Uh, there's a whole bunch of different ways to make those with pipe cleaners and straws. Um, but I use this kit and it comes with a nice book uh, It explains it's got 14 connectors and a whole bunch of different size rods I used the green rods for most of the bubbles I made um, So it made it very easy to put together and to be able to get it But I did find that the instructions don't you show you how to get these bubbles So the booklet comes with nine different frames here um, And it shows you with QR codes how to build them But it does not show you how to do the bubble or that you probably need a pipette to make the bubble itself Which is frustrating so in their booklet, it has QR codes to show you how to put these together. I mean, but it's pretty easy to do. You really don't, I didn't use the QR codes to do that. I wish they had had QR codes on how to actually make the bubble. Because once you build the design of a square or a triangle or whatever you're trying to build of theirs uh, for the bubble, um, you dip in the solution and it doesn't make the bubble. You have to know how to do that. And I wish their QR codes made those. So I'm going to try to show you how to make the bubbles once you build the kit. I do like on their frame that you could actually stick another rod in here to be able to hold it. So when you dip it in, which was uh, pretty helpful, uh, holding it and making the bubble itself. So I'll go in to show you how to do these. The booklet that comes with the kit actually has uh, directions on how to make the bubble solution. I'll have it in my description so you can see that. After you add the Dawn soap in there, lightly stir um, the soap solution with the water till it's fully mixed and then you're ready to go. So here you go, a square bubble, um, which is pretty cool because as we all know, most bubbles come as a, a round shape, but this is definitely a square because of the structure uh, allowing it to be a square. Now the booklet does not come with instructions on how to make the square bubble, so I'm going to show you how to do that next and also how to increase the size of the bubble smaller and bigger. All right, so dip your frame into the bubble solution and pull it out and let some of the extra liquid fall off. Then start shaking it up and down until it forms a little square in the middle. It's not a true bubble yet. It's just a square there. Then take a pipette that you cut the tip off of and you dip it in the bubble solution and blow a bubble on the top so it falls into the solution and ta-da! You've just made a square bubble, which is pretty cool. I'm going to show you how to increase and decrease that bubble. So here's how you increase and decrease the size of the square bubble on the inside. Once you get your square bubble, take your pipette and push it into the middle of the square bubble and start to suck the air out and it will make the, the bubble smaller. And then if you blow into the bubble, it'll start to increase the size um, until it's a point where it can't go any farther, which is pretty cool. So we just increase the size of the square bubble on the inside right there. And you can see uh, it's a lot larger, which is pretty cool. And then I'm going to do it one more time. I'm going to take it down by inserting the pipette in there um, and sucking the air back out. And it will make it a lot uh, smaller. As you can see, it's going down farther and farther, which is a super cool experiment. Oh, there it goes. So for the hexagon bubble, it was very frustrating. They do have it listed as very challenging, and it was challenging. The square bubble went right away. The problem is I probably should use smaller rods um, in there to get it to be a little easier. As you see, I have multiple bubbles. Every time I tried, I get the, the bubble to split in the middle like this here. Um, I had to blow an extremely big bubble to be able to hit all six sides um, to be able to make the hexagon at the same time, which took uh, probably over 25, 30 minutes. Um, and here it is. I finally did it once. Um, and so it was kind of cool that I did it. But I'm telling you, it is extremely hard, especially with no instructions to show you how to do it. Uh, just blow that bubble from your pipette on the top. Then I was able to stick... Um, uh, in a pipette and I'm going to be able to uh, decrease the size a little bit because it's pretty big right now um, and so from there I'm going to take a pipette and decrease it which you'll see a little bit smaller uh, unfortunately I didn't show you how to do it with the bubble there it is I got it down a little bit smaller um, but I don't have the footage on that but it was extremely tough to do so the triangle was very easy you dip it in and you're going to get those little uh, planes uh, in there to be able to get the bubble you have to dip your pipette into the solution and blow a bubble onto one side kind of tilting it 
and boom very easy just like the square you have a triangle bubble which is super cool super easy to do um, but you don't really need instructions on this but this is how you do it you're always blowing the bubble into the middle of these to be able to get this effect all right so i dipped it back in i'm going to show you how to increase and decrease the bubble size like i did with the square so you make the triangle just like that again after dipping it in step your pipette into the triangle and start blowing into the bubble and it will increase in size um and it's there you go you got a larger triangle it's to about the size of the frame right then to make it smaller to decrease it you're just going to put the pipette back in and suck the air out until you get to the size you want which is pretty cool to be able to do that air pressure is awesome if you like these experiments please remember to click thumbs up and subscribe uh, this one here i just kept blowing bubbles into it and making a whole bunch of different uh uh, different shapes in the middle which is kind of fun so you don't have to do the ones that the frames they have you can uh, be creative and make other ones so remember to click thumbs up and subscribe thanks for watching